audio jungle. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Hitesha here again and we are going to create this foxy eye look right here and without further ado, let's get straight into the video. I'm just squeezing out a tiny bit of foundation on my brush and just going it directly over my face. I completely love this foundation from Nykaa. It's so lightweight and yet full coverage. Moving on to the concealer, I'm using this concealer from Ellie Girl. It's in the shade Creamy Beige. I'm using this to hide my uh, dark circles as well as any pigmentation of my acne if I have. Using my pack 049 brush, it's slightly tapered and I just love this one uh, to blend my concealer because it is very soft, the bristles are very soft and smooth and it blends the concealer really well. And I'm just pulling my concealer also upwards so it just gives a lift to my eyes naturally. To bronze my face, I'm using this lighter shade and using a dense brush and I will go all over my face, nothing very precise or something, just going all over like this to add that extra warmth on my face, tapping on the excess. Just going in like so. And you can see how instantly it gives a little warmth and definition to your face and this looks so amazing. I just love this shade. Suits perfectly for my color. I'm using this concealer from Maybelline. It is the Age Rewind Concealer and it is in the shade Neutralizer, which is my favorite. Again, I'm using this to brighten up my under eye area. A little bit in the corner of my eyes, my nose. That's pretty much it. Now we will be blending this. On to the brows, I just like brushing my brows first because I generally have dense eyebrows so I don't do much for it. I just fill in very lightly the sparse areas. And now I'm using this Manish Malhotra palette again. It's in the shade Rendamu. 
and I'm using this darker brown color and just concentrating it over my outer corner of my eyes. Okay, and now taking the tiniest amount of black that you have any excess and just going it very very close to my lash line. And now I'm using the same concealer to clean out and give it a sharp edge. Just using a tiny amount on this flat brush from Morphe and clean the area over here. Moving on to the mascara, I'm using this mascara from Flower Beauty, it is the Lash Warrior and it is in the shade Fierce Black. Fiercest Black. You see the difference from this side to this side? This mascara is so good. I just love this mascara. Moving on to the blush, I'm using this blush from Wet n Wild and it has a little glitter particles there so I am just using this instead of highlighter and doing this doing one job for the highlighter and the blush and it's in the shade Apricot in the middle. You can see how instantly it adds a pop of color as well as a little glow so when you don't want to do the entire contour highlight blush routine you can just use this product as a two in one and this looks to be great with this uh, pencil it is from color bar and let me see if i can see the shade here no, the shade is gone but I'll check it out and uh, link it down below. Now this one from Kalabar, this pencil is very creamy and just glides on so easily. I just love this one. And we are almost done with the look except for the one step remaining here which is the eyelash. So, so as you can see I have cut my regular eyelash into half or even lesser than that and I am just going to place this from the center or even in, uh, head from the center of my eyes so that it gives me a lift and it relates to the foxy eye. You can also use individual lashes if you have for the same. I do not have it right now, so I just use my earlier eyelash, the full eyelash, and I just cut it. And this looks amazing.
and with this guys it's a wrap for this video and i hope you must have liked this recreation of mine for the foxy eye trend which is right now all over there on youtube instagram everywhere and if you have liked this video don't forget to like this video right there and subscribe to my channel before leaving from here because that means a lot to me and if you recreate this look do follow me on instagram and tag me in your stories and i'll be happy to share them on my stories bye